What's up everybody? Phil back again at our special video here on my channel. This guy arrived yesterday on Friday, September 9th from Outback Toys. I want to thank Outback Toys for this thing. It's a 1 16th scale Alice Chalmers 440 with nice dual wheels and everything. As you can see, Alice Chalmers, 50 years, 1972 through 2022. That's the 50th anniversary of the 440 four-wheel drive tractor. Of course, you see here on the box there, years produced, 73 through 77. Engine horsepower, 218. Manufactured in Fargo, North Dakota. A lot of people know probably what that means. Original price, $38,179. Weight, 20,230 pounds. Of course, uh, 2022 hurdle pretty cool nice nice nicely done box here by uh hurdle all right let's move on to the star of the show the 116 scale alice chalmers 440 four wheel drive and here it is everybody the 116 scale alice chalmers 440 four wheel drive brand new just got it like i said yesterday it's really nice uh looking replica here of a very classic tractor the real tractor was produced by steiger for alice chalmers and uh i i mean the box at 73 through 77 the uh on tractordata.com i think it says 72 through 76 so we'll say predominantly early 70s this real tractor was produced it uh carried uh 218 horsepower like the box sets pretty uh powerful tractor but uh it really favors the old steigers i mean in my opinion I mean, you got some differences here in the grill wait the grill and the end of the hood's all set up but it's really really similar to the steigers in my opinion and it's pretty classic this is the way tractors should be and look flat 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 <laughs> flat flat fenders flat hood Hint, hint, all you tractor companies. This is the way a tractor should look, my opinion. Um, this replica is pretty cool. Um, pretty, pretty neat, I think. Here's your rear end. Draw bar, realistic looking and everything. Looks pretty nice. Got your hydraulic line feeds right here, hooked up to the back coming off the back of the cab here where the hydraulic system is there looks pretty nice on the back of the on the rear of these flat fenders here you got some work lights and some a flasher light doesn't look too bad back of that cab i uh, looks to be the hydraulic uh part of the hydraulic system there the probably the hydraulic oil and the pump that comes right off of that and into that system looks pretty neat there i think Slow moving vehicle sign, nicely done. Got some more flashers on the back of the top of the cab. Alice Chalmers looks good. Cab's very classic looking Alice Chalmers orange. And then the top is the cream white Alice Chalmers. Door does open to that cab. Reveals some pretty nice little details in here. You got some uh, levers, shifter here, uh, foot pedals down below, dashboard. I think the dashboard is a decal, actually. That's pretty crazy. Steering wheel, black. Alice Chalmers logo on the middle of that steering wheel. Seats, black. I think the other door opens up as well. If I'm not mistaken, yep. Pretty nice little details inside the cab, for sure. Of course, you've got stairs on either side here, connected to the fenders in the cab area. Nice little handles to uh, gain entry to the cab. Looks pretty good there. Our right front fender here, you got your intake system connected to the top uh, left corner of the cab there. Also nice, there's a windshield wiper on the front windshield there. Nice work lights on the front of either uh, fender. Looks pretty good. Nice uh, looking hood here. AC orange, of course, uh, dual uh, 
exhaust there coming out the top of the hood guessing that maybe right there is where you put in your fuel maybe I'm guessing the uh, hood does not raise or anything but uh, here's some engine detail of the tractor got some nice little details in there nonetheless front grill nicely done nice black grill ace alice chalmers logo here lights of course looks pretty good there's nice articulation detail there and then the articulation area too not too bad underneath that tractor some neat little details under there especially with the front and rear end systems uh, tires are eight around all rubber very nice fat tire I thought I've seen these tires on something else but I haven't been able to point it out in my collection they look familiar but uh somebody knows let me know they're pretty nice tires nice big thick tread looks pretty sharp then your wheels kind of like a banded dual system there going on very deep inside there uh ac orange with the inner cap metal there doesn't look too bad it's a really nice replica here whoops it's a really nice replica of a classic old uh tractor built by steiger from which they did this a lot not just for alice chalmers they did it for a lot of people over the years if you think about it but it's really classic neat looking little uh replica all right i'll do a comparison or two here and let's do that now all right everybody i'm back and here is my alice chalmers whoa don't we roll off there <laughs> here's my alice chalmers 440 i forget what this was some kind of a Toy farmer, I think I want to say. And it's got it here side by side with my brand new AC440 with the uh, duels on it. Of course, you see the differences. You got an all white cab on this one and a uh, white grill. I think this was an earlier version, I want to say. And this was the older, later year version. If I'm not wrong, I write on that. Somebody let me know. All right, I'll do one more quick comparison. Let's do that now. All right, everybody, I'm back, and here's my 116 scale Steiger Wildcat alongside my Alice Chalmers 440. You can see just by looking at this and that that it was definitely produced by Steiger, in my opinion. Too much similarities in cab design and grill. The grill is very similar except for the top here. Fender systems look the same. Exhaust systems, intake, all the same. Um, very, very, very similar. Drawbar the same. It's pretty cool. All right, I'll move on to some quick final thoughts, and let's do that now. All right, everybody, I'm back. Alice Chalmers, 116 scale, L440 four-wheel drive, 50th anniversary. Right here, I failed to mention that on the side of the front corner of the cab here at the bottom. Alice Chalmers, 50 years, 72 through 2022. Find it interesting, it says 72, but the box says 73 through 77. But on tractordata.com, it says the tractor was produced between 1972 through 76. Nonetheless, this is a really cool replica, everybody. Um, anybody that's waiting on it or has, has it will probably attest to it. It's really, really nicely done. Um, I'm glad I got this really, really great, great release. Um, I got the uh, co-op implements one, co-op implements one ordered as well that's coming out and i'm going to try to or uh pre-order the i think it's a bearcat with duels on it coming out as well all right everybody i'll close out my video here I want to thank everybody that always tunes in to my channel you all have a blessed day we'll talk again soon